You know, when you're younger, everything seems so innocent, but in reality, it's dark. This throwback. I'm Mary Jane. Like, that is my favorite name. Really? Yeah. I didn't even catch that until now. Mary Jane is his favorite name because he likes Mary Jane, which is also... Oh, oh that's... Marijuana! Oh, what? Man! That's very obvious that Shaggy's a Sony. He has the long hair, he wears the same outfit every time. Now that I think about it, it's obvious he had all the signs of being a stoner, but... It didn't occur to me. Growing up, no way I knew that. He has a dog as a best friend. Like, clearly he thinks this dog is talking to him. Does the dog even exist or is he hallucinating? I want a dog best friend. Stop. Oh my God, you're so embarrassing. Stop. When you're a kid, you look at things with, you know, joy and pleasantness. No, the beginning scene of that movie, they were in his car man. or whatever, and you see all this smoke coming out. <laughs> oh man. Talk about toasted. <laughs> Man. But they're only cooking burgers, but what you know what they're really doing is lighting up the blunt and getting high. That's I thought that was so creative that they did that. It makes so much sense. As long as we've known Scooby-Doo, he's been paranoid. You know why? Because he's stoned out of his mind. And he always wants his Scooby snacks. I never really realized that, but that's kind of dope. No pun intended. Oh, focus, yeah. Focus. What's oh, bad yeah. that? Oh, God, there's a sex joke in that movie. I know what moment we're talking about. They get on the bus. And then the bus driver's like, oh, um, yeah. We desire children. Hey, that may take me a couple of tries, but I don't think that'd be a problem. I'm falling up. Why would you do that? Oh, we desire children, as in, oh, mm, they want babies. So we can bone until we make it happen, ladies. That's creepy. He means he wouldn't get, oh, because they old as hell. Oh, oh. Ew, he's a pervert. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing, what a G. Who doesn't want to bone a witch though? It's so weird how Hocus Pocus, I watched this when I was like five years old or something. I would have never caught any of these jokes. He's basically like, yeah, I'll have sex with all of you. I'll impregnate all of you. It won't be a problem for me. What a beautiful moment, though. I, I wish that a bus driver would compliment me like that one it's day. It's so romantic. Well, they were crazy witches, right? Witches have needs as well. Yeah, especially on Halloween, you know? Anything's bound to happen. That's true. He just knows what he wants, and he goes after it. I had that movie on DVD. I've given that movie to my kid sister, Kayla. I'm so sorry, Kayla. So on top of him like making that super inappropriate comment, Sarah's like, ooh, and she like sits on his lap. <laughs> and she's like honking the horn. And oh yeah, like, she's like, ah! <laughs> Oh my God, she sat on his lap. I wonder if they talked about the first thing that pops up. Ooh. There's that restaurant by the bay, and then that, that play, that, that, that Oedipus thing? Man, I thought I had problems. <laughs> you know Oedipus complex? No. The Oedipus complex when you want to have sex with your mother. What? That's how the Greek tragedy or play goes, is that he wants to have sex with his mother. And so it's called Oedipus complex when you want to have sex with your oh, mother. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Oedipus slept with his mom, Jocasta is her name, uh, and she enjoyed it, had a baby with him. It blinded herself when she found out because it was just real weird. Whoa, that's some Disney stuff right there. You know, but this doesn't surprise me because Disney always just sneaks in sexual innuendos without you knowing in the photos and what they say and it just like goes Walt right Disney, over it. He was a freak. Recently I've been watching some older like kids movies and it seems as though it's kind of a common occurrence that sneak in a sex joke or something like that. Something that the parents can relate to. Actually, side note, I was just watching Little Rascals yesterday. Alfalfa's hair is up and someone's like, is that a cowlick or are you just happy to see me? That's crazy. I mean, that's, that's a boner joke. They throw that in for the parents. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. I agree. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, that is, oh, that's funny. Do you think they meant that on purpose, though? No. We are definitely- No, it's definitely perverted. No, we're making no. it perverted. It's definitely perverted. I don't think that's a sex joke. Maybe he's just like, I don't like it. You don't think that while they were making that movie, not one person behind the scenes was like, listen, ee, listen, ee. if I don't like spinach, I'm not going to swallow the spinach. That is 
perfect terminology. Oh, you know they knew what they were doing and they loved it. I give it to Ratatouille. Like, if you have to sit through these painful movies with a child you probably don't want. So by the way, give it to him. Let's like have something to snicker at. Like, let's have something to talk about on the parent chat rooms, you know? Don't take dirty jokes out of G-rated movies. We need something. <laughs> Hook, hooker, she's a hooker, <gasps> she's a hooker. Oh, I got it. That's really awesome. Okay, Pixar. <laughs> so the fishing pole means she's trying to wheel in a guy? Oh, oh, I should try that. That's hilarious. Ugly. This is for kids? Oh. My YouTube channel is cleaner than that. And I cuss a lot. I do not think they were trying to make her a hooker because she was just legs with a hook on her. These people are a bunch of sickos. Oh, Disney movies, all those behind the scenes animated movies, they love Curves. to make it naughty. And of course, Sid would have a hooker in his room. No, Sid's room was like where dolls go to die, not where women go to be betrayed. Who's gonna f legs with a pole? <laughs> okay, well then, in that case, that's very creative on you, Pixar. I can't believe that. Now I know why my dad saw that movie so many times. I deserve more respect! Ah, uh, that's better. <laughs> hey, no one takes my wife's mouth, except me. Think about it, go back to the perverted place you were in before. It's totally sexual. You know what he's referring to. What is he referring to, Sinead? I assume it means he's gonna put his little spud in her mouth and call it a day. He doesn't want anyone else sleeping with his wife. I'm more concerned with the fact that they just shut up this woman by taking away her mouth. Same, I think it's more sexist than anything else. It's not necessarily sexual. Yeah. You are supreme. The, the chicks will cream. The chicks will cream? Ooh! That's disgusting. That's okay. I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. He ain't said nothing about no cream. He didn't. He said he you he he said he said they'll scream because he was so pretty. That's what he was talking about. Oh, ah! Because the car's so pretty. That's what he meant. He didn't say nothing about no. Oh God, why? First of all, oh! can I just say I absolutely hate hate when people use the word cream in a sexual sentence, okay? Gross. Who calls it creaming? <laughs> oh, I hate the word cream when used like that. It's so Do we weird. have to bleep that? I feel like we should. Okay. Oh, I've thought about this several times because I'm obsessed with musical theater and I've seen Grease and I've been in Grease and I've sang that song mi millions of times. The cream part, I knew immediately what that was. In my high school, we're a bunch of 16 and year olds. And you sang that? Sang that in front of our parents. Yeah. The chicks will cream. This is a very confusing time. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? Well, Grease is a very sexual movie. So like, I don't know what we, like, the whole thing is about her doing it with Danny Zuko, right? And Ferris wheels. So yeah, cream and, cream and ladies doesn't sound too far off. Isn't that like all you think about when you're like, maybe it was just me, but like <laughs> when I was a teenager, like all you're thinking about is like, when am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do, is it coming soon? You know? So to talk about creaming, it just makes sense. Actually that he's being considerate. He wants the chicks to cream. No, I hate the arrogance. He's like, the chicks will cream. That's, yeah, that's that hubris right that's there. Arrogant. It's not like the chicks might cream if I'm, they enjoy it. No, he was like, they will cream. I'm not a car girl, but mm. if a guy has a nice car, it's like, oh, that's cool. But I'm not, I'm not like- not gonna cream. No. Sink the sub, hide the weasel, park the porpoise. Bit of the old Humpty Dumpty, little Jack Horney, the horizontal mumbo, the bone dancer, Rumpelforskin, baloney bop, bit of the old cunning linguistics. Hmm? Oh, wow. Rumpelforskin. <laughs> No, and I've been watching that movie since I was like five. That's so funny, that's such a great movie. Wow, that was just like 12 references to doing it. That was a lot. I mean, I'm, Robin Williams is great though. This went right past me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no idea what they were talking about till now. Don't you just love when you watch things like that as a kid and you're just like, you laugh along because like people in the room are you're laughing like, ah. and then you listen to it again and you're like, Foreskin, cunnilingus, bone. Like, how did we miss all of that? Because we were pure-hearted and we weren't tainted by this world just yet. It's so interesting the way the brain works. I've seen this movie dozens of times. Because I saw it as a child, I did not put rumple foreskin together. My personal favorite was bone dancing. <laughs> what? Is it still your personal favorite? Baloney popping? What was the baloney thing? I want to hear what that thing. was. Baloney pulp? Baloney pop, what does that mean? A meat pop, that, oh, took me a minute. Oh, 
I didn't get any of that when I saw mm -hmm. it at all. I feel like I remember hearing Horizontal Mambo. The rest of it was just like gibberish. Yes, um, cunning, linguist, cunning linguist, I absolutely missed. I recently learned what cunnilingus is. And you know what? A lot of the guys I've been with still don't know what it is. Oh! 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 <laughs> Roasted, but also learn. Hey, did we miss any really scandalous, sexy moments in other movies? Let us know in the comment section below. And when you're down there, like it, subscribe, comment. You've done this before. Click right to check out all the best looks on the red carpet at the Oscars, or click left to see us try out some amazing cheesecakes on Cheesecake.